see here uh, in it is it is a basic thing that everyone should know about class structure okay so what is a class structure that may be a question in interview also many times class structure means in your application what are the different layers of classes that are available okay so as of now you know so many different layers of classes which we have one is organization class and fw work class which is class group deriving from work dash cover dash and we have implementation class group which is deriving from fw class group which is deriving from fw class group these are the three different layers organization fw work class deriving from work dash cover dash and implementation work class deriving from framework work class apart from these three you have we have organization fw we have data classes we have data classes at organization fw and implementation layers at these three layers we have data classes deriving from data dash similarly we have integration classes at all these three levels deriving from int dash and we have case types deriving from class group so where the case the case processing gets initiated those belongs to class group okay so this is what you need to tell see if you go to pdn or maybe any other uh, websites or youtube channels there will be uh, big diagrams and big uh, lot of explanation about class groups and all uh, if you go by that you will not be able to understand for sure so it is very simple a class structure means what are the different layers of classes that we have in our application okay organization and framework work class implementation work class both derive uh, framework work class derives from work dash cover dash implementation work class deriving from framework work class at all these three levels organization framework work implementation work all these three levels we have data classes deriving from data dash and integration classes deriving from int dash apart from this under implementation class group we have case types which are the transaction processing for our application case types belongs to class group that's it class structure is completed okay that's what you need to say for that you don't you don't even need to practice to remember okay you just need to explain all the layers that you know okay and next we are going to discuss about application architecture i'm going to explain you about what application architecture okay see here application architecture aladinka we can have two different organizations for two different applications okay framework application can have one organization implementation application also can have a different organization it is possible but generally we don't do that practice okay we can have a number of frameworks okay see in interviews they will ask a question about what is your application architecture it means that see usually in enterprise pega will be installed on a server pega applications will be installed on one server okay how business users will be accessing the server from their laptop they will open a browser and type the url type the url of the application this url is going to open the, uh, i mean like show the login screen and after we enter the credentials it is going to allow us to log into the application so here application architecture means what is the design of your application architecture where from the moment user try to hit the url of the application and till the portal loads till the respect to portal loads what is the design so i am going to explain you high level 
so if you open a browser and type the url of the prpc application so in our in our case this is the url okay so this will give us login screen see before we proceed to know about this say how the request will be processed from the moment the url is typed in the url to till the login and portal gets loaded so we need to know about these two terms authentication and second one is first one is what we need to know about authentication second one is authorization second one is authorization so first we need to understand these two terms what is authentication and what is authorization we know about these two then it will be easy to understand see authentication is a whole system level whole server level server level access is there or not there that means authentication authorization means specific modules or specific applications on server applications of specific applications of server or you can say specific modules anything is okay see whole server level access and specific applications of server for example i will tell you uh, let's say for example we take a company let's say we are working for let's say a, an employee working for tcs so he is going to go to office every day and he is working in it development it development as a developer okay now uh, there will be a physical establishment of tcs office the building will be there so anyone who wants to enter into that building they should access their access card they have to get the access uh, they have to uh, access the access card and once access is successful they are allowed to enter into office premises so that is at the entrance place that is at the entrance place and apart from that after they go inside the building there will be different departments okay let's say uh, i um, so for uh, it developers one wing is there and there is another wing for hr department and financial team another wing for maybe some other different uh, departments see when they wanted to enter into it development wing then they have to access and swipe their card when they swipe it access will be done they will be allowed the same it developer if this person goes to uh, hr department and try to enter into hr department by accessing the card access will be rejected okay so now the person is having two levels of access one is the whole building to enter into the premises of tcs office whole building after entering one specific wing or one specific block or you can say one specific odc that he is allowed into other odcs or other, other blocks he is not allowed okay so what is this see the entire organization office level entire building level the access that is provided is called authentication and authorization is to the specific blocks of that particular building you are authorized to enter simple simply to say in a restaurant we have kitchen room where outsiders are restricted right so you are not authorized to enter into kitchen room okay you are allowed to have the authentication to the entire um, restaurant you can enter inside but after you enter inside <clears throat> only the specific areas you are allowed to access and not allowed everywhere inside so that is called authorization to specific blocks okay the same way applications will be deployed on a server a server may have one or more applications see in our prpc we have mercury application i have qb application we have hanover application many applications are there all are running on the same server local host 9090 port number okay so whenever we are going to type the url what is the url local host 9090 pr web pr server right? then a login screen gets displayed we will enter the login id and password and we will get it that is local system but in enterprise how this is being designed is see in enterprise there is something called single sign on what is it called as single sign on single sign on means 
see the same see one common place to sign in to different application means for n number of different applications there is a common login screen for example we take youtube application and google drive application gmail application google photos application for all of these applications any url you type drive.google.com youtube.com or gmail.com any url you type the login screen that gets displayed is same so for all these different applications the first place is a gate to enter common place that is called as single sign on so for all your enterprise applications single sign on will be available so when users are going to enter the url in their browser the first server that is going to hit is single sign on server there a login screen will be displayed in enterprise applications the login screen that we have for production environment may be pega login screen or maybe a normal html login screen or it can be anything there is no matter what technology the login screen is developed that will be there on a single sign on server the moment we type the url then it you will be redirected to one server called single sign on server where a login screen will be displayed which might have been developed in any technology username and password this username and password should be validated for authentication first what should be done authentication should be done authentication means it will go to a server called authentication server where we have ldaps it is called as ldap server lightweight directory access protocol so what LDAP holds? LDAP holds the operator rights and passwords, means usernames and passwords of entire business related users, means entire bank, all the users data will be there. Database called LDAP. It may be LDAP or it may be equivalent to LDAP, any other services may be available, any other databases and services. So most widely being used is lightweight directory access protocol. Here, authentication will happen whole this is like a whole organization level so once we type the url it will go to single sign on and dis single sign on server and display login screen in the login screen we give username and password then it will allow us if username and password is present in the ldap server authentication is successful then you will be redirect redirected to the next level called web server i explained this load balancing server so where load balancing server is going to i based on the url that you have used and the uh, application server uh, IP address URL means IP address and all username password collecting all these three information it will redirect us to specific application server there can be a number of applications based on the URL you have typed it will redirect you to the specific application server along with the username and password so now on the application server on the application server it is going to hit it will it will load the PR servlet there is a servlet called PR servlet, the servlet is going to check for the authentication service. Check for the authentication service. Serv servlet contains the name of the authentication service. When authentication service gets executed, we know about web services. Service will have service activity. Service activity is going to do OBJ open on operator ID table. If the username and uh, password present in operator ID table, then it will load the access group. Based on the access group, it will load what is the application portal and access roles that this operator can have and it will load accordingly. Everyone clear? So this is overall process. The overall process, if they ask you what is your application structure for the login, how the, your application is being designed, you need to explain this high level of information. We have single sign on being a single sign on available where when users are going to type the url of our application pega application it will go to single sign on server where it is going to be uh, displaying login screen when we enter login id and password it will go to ldap server ldap server it will verify the authentication username and password exist it will redirect to web server from web server it will go to application server application server it is going to load pr servlet pr servlet when it is executed it will execute the authentication service Authentication service will have an authentication activity. That activity is going to do OBJ open using the username which we have given in the operator table. If that is successful, then it will load the access group. Based on the access group, it will load application portal and access roles of given operator. Clear everyone? And also, here you have class group, right? We can have more than one class group. 
which class group should be loaded by default to the operator will be decided by access group only i will show you in the access group if you go to the advanced tab in the access group if you go to advanced tab here you can see work pool what is that work pools one or more you can add so here you will be adding class groups a class group which is referred under the access group of an application is uh, access group under uh, under the advanced tab of an access group is called a work pool class group which we refer under advanced tab of uh, access group is called as work pool suppose you have three to four class groups you will not be able to access all the class groups you will be able to access only the class groups that are mentioned here you have 10 applications will you be able to access 10 applications no you can access only the applications for which your operator has access group added same way we have 10 class groups all 10 class groups cannot be accessed only the class group which is mentioned in the security tab of access, advanced tab of access group can be accessed this will be defaultly loaded if you are adding one more see class group why it is called a work pool okay i will tell you class group is an instance class for work objects under class group we have case type 1 case type 2, case type 3, child case type, so many things will be there. Class group plus, class group is called work. Work and pool of items will be there, work items. Okay. So, class group plus case types, all together is called as work pool. Work pool means, under this work, what are the work items? Vehicle insurance, health insurance, art, um, uh, health insurance life insurance these three are three different work types right these three are this is work this is type of work this is generally work what is the type of work vehicle insurance what is another type of work health insurance what is another type of work life insurance all the types of works plus work together is called as pool work pool everyone clear they will ask you one question in interview what is the difference between class group and work pool a class group is instance class for work objects Class group which is referred in advanced tab of access group is called as work pool but class group plus different types of works under it that means case types all case types plus class group together is referred as work pool make sense everyone clear 